Hey guys, this is Just One Guy, and this is Unity Tips and Tricks. Now, in this episode, we're going to make a ragdoll. Now, a ragdoll is just in case you want a dead body and you want to ragdoll it around, or you want the enemy to get hit and instantly turn into a ragdoll or something like that. It just gives a little bit more realism and uses the uh, physics system to make your enemy do some crazy things. Now, I'm just going to show you a quick example of what a ragdoll is good for. Let's just get the sword real quick. Now we're going to kill this guy right here and his dead body is going to turn into a ragdoll. And as you can see, that's just a good example of it. Now what happens is a little more complicated. The actual uh, enemy, it got destroyed and then instantiated this ragdoll in its place. Now, uh, I don't think you can create a ragdoll at runtime. I mean, just set one up at runtime. I think you can only instantiate them at runtime. And from reading the documents, uh, that's that's what uh, seems to be true. But that's just one example of where Ragdog is good. Now I'm gonna just show you a little bit of code. I'm not gonna post the code because this is gonna highly depend on how your game is set up. I just want to give you an example on what I personally did. Like when the enemy is dead, it just sets the tag to dead, and then you can see right here the stench chase the Ragdog, and then wait one second and destroys the uh, the enemy. Now I've also set it up to destroy the main camera too and destroy the UI just because I wanted to clean up and I didn't want to leave that stuff in the scene. But in most cases, you won't need to do that. You'll just destroy the game object. And that's just how I got the, uh, the code set up. Now I've got the variable dead body. That's the prefab that I've set it up. And it's just a transform. I've just set it up uh, as var uh, dead body transform. And then I dragged the ragdoll prefab as the uh, dead body. And then extend chase at the transform position. This is a little offset just because my character is a little off and the transform rotation. And it, this is just a variable is dead. You probably won't have that in your game. And then I destroy everything that's connected to the character. But this is for if the players die. If the NPC dies, I just uh, extend the dead body and then destroy it and wait a second. I just put the time uh, 0.1 because sometimes some funny stuff could happen. And I just want uh, wanted to avoid that. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the ragdoll. Now I'm using the base metal. There's nothing special about this character. He's just got bones and everything. That's it. And most of this stuff is named correctly. Now what you do is you just drag the uh, your character. You want to make a ragdoll in the scene. And then you go to game object, 3D object, and ragdoll. Then you just set up the ragdoll from here. Now the first thing it wants is the pelvis, and this is a little bit deceptive because it doesn't want it. It doesn't actually want the pelvis. It wants the main bone, and what it uses that for is to drag around the whole character as a whole. Now sometimes the pelvis won't be the main bone, and what will happen is you you'll get a little stretching because it'll drag around the uh, the pelvis, but the main bone will still be left in place. So it won't drag the whole character, and you'll just have like one bone sticking out. But for most cases, the main bone is the pelvis, which is with this character. So we're just going to put that in there. It's just important to note because sometimes you get a little confused as to why it's not working. And that'll be why. Then we have the left thigh. This naming convention is a little weird. Most of the time, this will be named thigh or something. It'll really never be named hip. And the knee is just the calf. And then the foot is just the foot. But sometimes you got to figure it out. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's named correctly. But you just put in these values, the right thigh, the calf, then the foot, and we go into the spine, find the arms, and it, most of the time these bones will be exactly as they appear here, upper arm, forearm, I wish they had set this up like the animation system where it automatically uh, rigs it. Now the middle spine is a little confusing. Most of the time I just go for the spine right here. But sometimes it'll be spine 1, sometimes it'll be spine 2. And now we just gotta find the head. 
Now I've read I messed with the rest of these values and they really didn't have an effect. So most of the time I just leave them all the same. But mass, I'm guessing it's supposed to be weight. They advise you not to set the weight, I mean the mass too high. But I'm not really for sure. I haven't really seen a difference uh whether high high or high low I set the number. So I just leave it as it is. Then we just click create. And now he's uh Yeah, he's got physics. Well he's a, a ragdoll now. take a long to play but as you can see he's a ragdoll we can move him around walk over him move him got a bit of stretching there Yeah, it's still a little stretching there. I don't know what's, what that is. I don't usually get that problem. But that's basically how you set it up. And from there, you just turn them into a prefab. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Yeah, you'll just turn it into a prefab. And then instantiate them when you want a dead body. And that's basically it. I would remove the animator though because you don't really need that and that's about it uh, now this base melt character I just downloaded him off the asset store he's free if I can find it again I'll put the link in the description and if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you want to suggest a tutorial please suggest a tutorial in the comments down below thank you for watching